Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we got started with Azure Data Factory copy activity, wherein we understood how you can get started really quick with um, your pipeline and activities within it. In this uh, session, we're going to get started with templates. Um, what are templates? They are predefined JSON scripts, which is available in Microsoft Data Factory um, Gallery wherein you can get started really quick uh, quickly with data factory these are useful when you are new to data factory and want to get started really easily these template reduce the overhead and development time for building data integration project because um, the activities or tasks which you want to perform might already have been performed by somebody else and uh, what you just want to do is you just want to leverage these templates uh, available already so you can create your own templates or you can use the ones which is provided by the Microsoft gallery so there are two entry points to create templates uh, for the first one is uh, from the home page create pipeline from template um, or you can just go to the canvas of your author page and um, start with the pipeline over here click on the three dots and get started by clicking pipe pipeline from template so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on pipeline from template and you see that there are JSON templates looks like things like copy data from on-premise to SQL Azure copy data from multiple containers between file stores you can use uh, um, other third-party application as well like Adobe campaign you can use for SQL server integration service um, so these templates are primarily available by, by Microsoft however you could just have your own templates also how these template looks like if you go to the um, data factory github repository underneath the template you would see that all these tasks which you see right over here are actually templatized and open source so let's suppose you want to copy data from HDFS to Azure data lake store you will see that there are two files one is the JSON and the manifest JSON is the one wherein which has all the task and the pipelines uh, which consist of all of data integration activity and then manifest which uh, which supports your task so this is how your pipeline uh, templates kind of looks like let's go ahead and let's get started real quick uh, what i want to do is i want to use a move template which is going to move containers files within the containers from a location to b so just to give you a glimpse i have got my source code df container and if i go over here we've got the source code con uh, storage account and we've got two containers destination and source containers in the source one we've got seven eight um, uh, six different uh, csv files which is going to be moved from here to this particular destination which is empty at the moment so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my Azure data factory type in move because I already know that um, this template exists and if you see over here it denotes that it is by Microsoft at the moment however if you had your own template would have been sh showing your name so once you click on the template it shows you holistic view that how your template kind of looks like this is what your template is going to perform it it's going to first task would be to get the file list then it's going to filter the file and it's going to run a for each loop for all of your files within the container so that it copies the file and deletes the file after that once it has moved it so to get started it's really all you need to do is you need to pass on some of the uh, linked services create some linked services you're already aware of it how to create linked services because in the last session we did that so i'm going to use the source uh, destination source and destination link service give it a name link services source and the type is going to be azure blob storage and the integration runtime going to be auto and in this session what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the azure keyword because in the last session we used the connection string and which is kind of little uh, security wise vulnerable so what we want to do is we want to use the key vault and that's the benefit you get with Azure data factory because it integrates with majority of Azure resources 
and that's give that gives you the flexibility and seamlessness to um, integrate with majority of Azure services. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the key vault. I have already got my empty key vault right over here. So I'm going to go to my secret and generate a new secret, which is going to be credential. And this credential will hold the storage account connection string. So I'm going to copy it right from here and I'm going to go to my key vault and put it right over here and then just create it. So once my credential secret is created, I am going to go to my Azure key vaulting service again. Um, I'm going to select a new one that's going to be from the subscription and find my key vault name that's going to be code red kv and I'm going to test the connection alright connection is successful now I'm going to give it a secret name so my secret name is connection and now if I start testing it it is going to fail stating that Azure Data Factory hasn't got the connection hasn't got the uh, trusted connection between your key vault so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my key vault right over here and I'm going to go to my access policy click on add access policy select that it's going to be key secret and certificate management um, rest of the options are fine and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my data factory name which is code red demo df select it add it and save it give it a few seconds to save it chill right over here test the connection again and see if it's successful or not and this time it is successful so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit on create and that's going to create a data set as well now I'm going to do same for the destination uh, since my storage account for destination and source are same I'm going to use the same linked service and if you click over here you would see that you could just export the template uh, as well and it would generate uh, JSON and the manifest file for us I'm going to use the template and that's going to take us to the canvas which shows you okay the, there are three tasks which is going to run in the pipeline um, that's the name of my pipeline I've got three data sets one source destination an actual file if you go to the parameter section there are a bunch of information we need to feed in the first one going to be the source location my source location is I'm going to go to my container and that's my source location source container and then the destination location and that's about it now I'm actually ready to run um, the pipeline if you click over here the for each loops gonna have two tasks underneath it the first one gonna be uh, copy files which is gonna copy all the files iterate through all the files copy it from one um, container to another one and once it sees that all the containers are now copied it's gonna delete the file one by one I'm going to go to my move file and you could always just edit the task name as well right from here if you don't like the by default one. So what I'm going to do is I am going to validate this and I am going to add a trigger trigger right now. Okay, let's probably publish the file first. All right, so that's if you click on the validate, you could just um, run a validate and which is going to run the validation against your actual files. If you see that the task has been queued and it has started to um, use the pipeline which we've created and it's going to run uh, the task against each of them. If you see over here, it's going to copy the data first and then once it is copied all the files, it is going to delete them one by one. So if we go back over here and go to my destination container, if we just hit refresh that all the files are now 
in my destination container if you go a little back and go to the source container the source container should shouldn't have any files underneath it because that was the uh, that was the specific task assigned to the delete task which was right over here if you just uh, use the save as template that's not going to work because we haven't got the git integration set up yet that's what we are going to do in our next session um, so obviously we can't um, use the use the save as template however you could just uh, try to publish it and um, that's going to that's going to save your pipeline and you could just run the pipeline whenever needed so what is it has done is it has created one pipeline it has got multiple data sets and uh, we've got this is how your canvas kind of looks like a bunch of tasks that's it for now i hope this was informative in the next session we are going to get started with uh, the integration with the source code repository that's going to be uh, get github in our case you could just use the azure devops repositories as well however you could just uh, uh, click right drop down right over here and get started all right i'll see you in a while thank you